beautiful tribe. It's Crystal Thursday. In a past video, I had a comment from William. A question that I once wondered about crystals. Where do they get the metaphysical properties for crystals? Who comes up with all these things that the crystals do? Good question, right? Well, today we're going to explore that where or who these metaphysical properties of crystals come from. Yeah. When you look at a crystal, some might think this is just a piece of rock. It's just something hard, you know, not much to it. But actually crystals are very complex. First, you gotta think about how are crystals made. So crystals form in nature when molecules gather together to stabilize when liquid is cooling and hardening. The earth is very complex and you have all these caves and stuff, millions of billions of years of different weather events, different things happening. There are different ways that a crystal can form. A crystal can form when a liquid rock magma is cooling and hardening. That's called crystallization. Another way a crystal can form is when water evaporates from a mixture. So there is a bunch of different substances in the earth. Wherever those substances are found, crystals can form because the earth is billions of years old and so are crystals. Crystals have been around for billions of years, you know? So whenever you think of the makeup of a crystal, it's got all these little molecules that are made up of salt, copper, water, heat. Those are substances that can help the human body. The body is made up of mostly water anyways. So the basic science behind crystals and healing is that crystals are formed from sources that are similar to the physical body and healing for the body. Water, salt, heat, all of those are things that make us feel better and are good for our body. And they are the conditions that form crystals. So why do we assign certain metaphysical properties for certain crystals? Well, it all boils down to what it's made of and basically history and experimentation. It is very important to know that, you know, when dealing with crystals, it's not a substitute for going to the doctor and getting doctor's advice at all. You may read that a certain crystal can help with indigestion, but you get the crystal and it does nothing for you. But on the other hand, another crystal might help, you know, relieve it a little bit. It's all based on instincts and experimentation and what people have experienced with in the past. I honestly believe that it's all part of belief and what you believe in. If you believe that this crystal will help you with your love problems, then it will. It's whatever you have in your mind. Hence, hypnosis, hypnotherapy works for whatever you need because your mind is super powerful. So if you believe that this crystal is gonna help you rid negative energies from your life, then it will because you have that mindset. You already have that in your mind. So you can go and Google about different crystals and research them all the time, but just trust yourself and search within yourself. And the answers you are seeking are always within. They're never on the outside. So trust yourself, trust your instincts, and who needs a crystal? Trust yourself. But they're cool to look at, and they sure are pretty. Love and light to you all.